Hello and welcome to My Finance Teacher on YouTube. Today I want to have a look at crude oil and by the way I hope all of you guys are having a nice weekend. So last time we looked at crude oil the price was somewhere between $66 and $67. At the moment the price is slightly above $50. So oil has actually dropped quite considerably over a number of weeks as we see here this is a weekly chart of crude oil in the previous video we did expect a drop from around 66 67 dollars all the way down to around 60 dollars even possibly 58 dollars and um, this drop did take place however the drop sliced through that support zone all the way down to 50 dollars where we are at the moment this decline this decline has clearly been a part of the declining phase of an intermediate cycle in crude oil and uh, based on the normal duration of around half a year for the intermediate cycles in crude oil it seems that the current cycle properly defined is the one uh, going on between sort of mid-february this year all the way until um, nowadays and I think this intermediate cycle is ready to finish and we are about to enter a new advancing phase of a new cycle. We are about to get some sort of a bounce in crude oil. Let's have a look at reasons why. First of all, if you look at the RSI, this is, for example, a 10-week RSI. It's the most it has been oversold since, well, since second half of 2015. So it's the most it's been oversold for over three years. And if you compare the current price level with the 20-week moving average, or in other words, 100-day moving average, this would be, the price would be stretched far below that 20-week moving average, as far as it has been since all the way in the beginning of 2015. So the price is oversold and stretched far below 20 week moving average, the most it's ever been over the last three years or more. As we see on the chart, crude oil has been going down for about seven weeks consecutively without any breaks in between those red candles and again the last time it happened was over three years ago which just again points out that this current decline is uh, somewhat of an extreme one so based on this chart all these oversold levels as well as the normal duration for the intermediate cycles i do expect some sort of a bounce and um, if we look at the news, for example, on um, the 6th of December, an OPEC meeting is expected where the, the members are likely to, um, to cut their production. And additionally, next week, we also expect a G20 summit. And I think on that summit, there might be some uh, positive movements away from trade war mostly between China and US, because I think both of those countries need some sort of a break in this trade war after the stock markets of both countries have been, some, uh, have been experiencing some difficulty. So if there is some positive agreement between Xi Jinping and Trump, that, that might bode well for the stock markets as well as crude oil price with an expectation of uh, maybe continued economic progress. So for all of these technical and um, one might call fundamental reasons, I expect some sort of a bounce in crude oil over the next several weeks, let's say a couple of months, two or three months. And uh, I think that bounce might uh, take us to, well, probably at least $64. Although there are some more resistance levels between uh, 50 where the crude, 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 crude oil is at the moment and my sort of a target at about 64. There is a resistance zone at 64-ish and there are a couple of resistance zones before that at 55 and around 58 dollars per barrel. And I think 64 is a more interesting target because if we actually also 
I'll put the Fibonacci numbers on this recent decline. A 50% retracement of this relatively significant decline is quite uh, possible, very likely, I think. And that coincides with a technical resistance of at about $64. So, purely in my opinion, remember this is not investment advice. In my opinion, investments such as, uh, well, an ETF such as uh, USO or some established uh, producers, Shell or BP, for example, might be interesting to have a look at. And uh, remember, make your own decision. Uh, for full disclosure, I have some Shell, uh, Shell shares. And um, another interesting thing about uh, those producers is uh, they do currently pay quite an interesting, quite a nice dividend. And uh, lastly, one more thing I want to mention in relation to this forecast of higher prices over the next few months is this would actually kind of coincide with uh, seasonality in crude oil, with uh, winter coming in US, and of course the rest of the northern hemisphere. And uh, that generally coincides with the heating season and um, generally higher prices uh, for crude. So that, that is my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And I hope you have a nice weekend. Thanks.